Hey, what's up guys? I'm Gordon Briley and I'm going to show you how to install the seat back for the bench. So whether you bought the actual bench itself or you just have the seat back, which both are incredibly handy. I'm just going to quickly show you how to install it and how to use it. This doesn't get much easier than this. So it came with um, some screws that are three inches long and washers, three inch washers. You just pass the screw through the washer and then you're going to attach it, you're going to need a solid surface, obviously. So if you have a stud that is dead center, that's great. But if not, you're going to have to put something that you can actually attach this to. And an easy way to do that would be a, a piece of plywood that crosses over several studs. And you just screw that into the wall. And then now you have a solid mounting surface. So piece of cake. So one screw goes here with the washer around it one in the center and one on the bottom and then it comes with quick knobs and a washer so you want to place that washer inside the rail nut should be inside the rail when you get it and then this is easy to quickly move to your height the bench itself so the seat back so you're just going to screw that knob with the washer on it and then if you have your own bench and you're sliding it underneath that's what you're going to want to make sure that you mount this piece just slightly above whatever the height of your bench is so it doesn't hit it and your bench can go all the way back if needed. So once you have that mounted, again rail nuts, put the knobs in and then sit on it and then find your height, your ideal height. Now this works in a couple different ways. One, we can install it facing up, upwards, where it's longer this way. And it doesn't rotate, it can move this way because this rotates. And there's actually some movement where I'll use this to hold my hip still while I'm doing some rotations on the HeliFit system. But in general, most of the time it's gonna come out here, but we have it to where it can fold away and store out of the way. But even better, one of the reasons I really love this piece is because during certain movements, let's say a chest press, you wanna be able to arch your back. And this movement allows you to do that. So where you set it, if this is in the kind of middle part of your back, this lower portion, then this will fit right on the upper portion of your back and support really well. So if you're doing that and you're going to be pressing, let's say on the HeliFit system, you would apply a slight down pressure. So it's really important that you actually get these really tight. So tighten these down once you have it at the right height for you, which is great. That's why it's so adjustable. So anywhere within this rail, this can go. But you can utilize it in different ways. If you need to stay upright and you don't want to arch, then you can place it this way. And it still offers really great support. You can pin it through here with the hitch pin. And it has a couple holes that you can adjust to. Not a ton of adjustability, but we just needed to get you past uh, the low pro rack. So that really is a basic guide on how to use the seat back for the bench.